What's it up, baby? Y'all know it is the big boss out boss that can't pull through the door to talk this boxing. Look, I want to talk about why Ryan Garcia took this fight against Devonta Tech Davis. Ryan Garcia took this fight against Devonta Tech Davis because he understands that nobody respects him as a fighter, right? Now, granted, me personally, I don't respect anybody that get in that ring, but I'm just talking about his profile, his stardom. People are questioning, is, is, is he really a star, you know, off of fighting? So he knows fighting a fight like this, if he's able to pull this win off, this will get him more respect you know it'll, it'll show that he's a real fighter and it's not a fluke now me personally you know and i mean this in the most respectful way uh he still had to prove himself to me one fight not gonna do it right um you gotta fight top fights over and over and over again that's what it is you can't fight one fight and just instantly get credibility that's what it is they put you on the right track you know what i mean uh, Ryan has a chance to win this fight. Styles make fights. Although he has all them flaws, you know, he, he may be able to, it may be a style matchup for Javante Tank Davis. That's just what it is. Um, you know, Styles make fights. But I don't see Ryan Garcia being victorious in this fight. I see Javante Tank Davis knocking him out. That's what it is. I think Ryan going to have some success. Uh, I think Ryan, who's a very cocky individual, I think he's going to have a round where he has some success and then he is going to, you know, think he has Tank hurt and then that's when Tank going to get him. Uh, I'm telling you this. Uh, he's trying to come off as this humble and I'm telling you right now, that boy ain't nothing humble about Ryan Garcia. And you're going to see, he going to get in there and he going to get sparked. <laughs> that's, what, that's what it is. He going to get in that ring. He going to get sparked. You know what I mean? He's going to get in there. He going to fall in love with, oh, I got some success. Oh, I'm doing this. Oh, I'm still landing. Oh, 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 okay. I'm going to do the same thing. Tank going to spark him. You know, but what does Ryan got to do to get that credibility? keep fighting fights like this so if he's victorious against Devonta Tank Davis he needs to shut up and send a contract or say David hey Devin let's fight the problem with Ryan is he talked too much but he a youngster and that's what these young kids do nowadays they like to talk you know what I mean they, that's 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 what's that's what's that's what's hot to them oh we gonna talk we gonna talk no nah, man uh, you know that uh, he talked too much. That's that's all it is. For me, talking means you scared. He's trying to hype himself up. That's what I see when I'm watching him talking. He trying to talk about Tank. He's saying that Tank ain't really. I get the vibe from Tank. Tank ain't really worrying about him like that. Like he's taking a fight seriously, but he's not concerned. He know who he is as a man. I don't think Ryan really know who he is. That's why he battling with himself. You know what I mean? So, but I like his confidence, though. I like that he talking. You know, you, you, it's boxing. <clears throat> but to segue back into the topic, he feels like this is going to give him some credibility. You know? That's what he feels like. That's why he took this fight. He didn't take this fight because he felt like he could beat Tank Davis. He took this fight. He's taking this risk because he hear people. He hear what people are saying. That's why he took this risk. That's why he like, F it, I want to fight Tank. He didn't say, hey, I want to fight Devin. When it came down to fighting Devin, oh, man, um, you know what I mean? Because I think Ryan Garcia feel like he could beat Devin. He looking at Tank. He looking at Tank star power. He like, man, Tank got all this star power. Tank put butts in the seats. If I'm able to beat Tank, you know, this will catapult me to a whole nother level. That's why he want to fight Javante Tank Davis. He don't want to fight Devin. I think Ryan going to think he could beat Devin Haney. Not going to lie to you. I think Ryan feel like that, you know? 
But Ryan, looking at Devin, he like, he don't have the fans. You know, because Devin not putting butts in the seats like Tank. When Tank fight, everybody coming. You see what I'm saying? Everybody. Shakur not even putting butts in the seats. I know Shakur would dominate Ryan Garcia. He'll dominate that boy. You know what I mean? But he not even putting butts in the seats like that. Tank, you got to get a football stadium for him. If Tank is at, if Tank, I'm telling you, if Tank beat Ryan, they're going to have to start putting that boy fights in football stadiums like they do with Errol. I'm telling you. If I'm Tank, my next fight will be in the Baltimore Ravens. They're the MNT Bank. We'll fight over there. I'll fight Devin Haney in, in Baltimore. You know what I'm saying? In a football stadium. That's what it is. But to segue back on topic, I keep getting off my bad. Ryan Garcia wants that respect. And he feels like what Tank has to offer as far as him being a mega star in boxing, Tank building his star power off boxing, not off... You don't, how many commercials have you seen Javante Tank Davis in? He don't even have the appearance to represent. That, you know what I mean? And it's no disrespect. But they don't want Tank to, you know, in a, I don't know, in a Nike commercial. You know? They want Ryan. He's that clean cut, Hispanic, white. He, you know, he could pass as a white boy. You know what I'm saying? He, he that type of dude. You know? But how many commercials have you seen Javante Tank Davis in? I haven't seen none. There may have been one. I haven't seen one. You know, maybe it's one back in Baltimore. I ain't seen none. You feel me? So like I keep saying, Tank, it, Tank, as far as his star power, is the real deal. You know what I mean? And Ryan see that. Ryan want a piece of that. Ryan want to take everything that Tank got. You know? So that's why he taking this risk. It ain't because he feel like he could be Tank. I don't think Ryan 100% believe he could be Tank. That's why he keep talking. He talking a lot. Because he trying to pump himself up. You know what I mean? That's, that's what it is. Go Ryan and sit there and say, give me Devin. I want to fight Devin. No. He want to fight Tank because what Tank has. Tank got the star power. Tank got, you know, the money. He got all that. He looking at that. He like, man, I want that. What were the reason dudes want to fight Floyd? Because Floyd got the star power. Floyd got the money. That's what it is. Tank got that. They want a piece of that. Now, will this, if, if Ryan Garcia loses, will this hurt his resume or oh, his star power? No. Ryan Garcia will still be a top fight. I'm going to say top fighter. He'll still be a popular fighter. You know what I mean? They're just going to be like, oh, he got in there with Tank. He fought Tank. You know, they, gonna, they fans going to give him a more victory for being in there with Tank. Ain't no more victories in life, but, you know, they're going to do that for him. If Tank loses... He, he won't take no hits. You know what I mean? I think Ryan feel like, oh, I'm going to... Tank's going to take a hit. He's not going to take no hit. He's going to keep on chugging. He's going to keep selling out arenas. That's that's just what it is. That's what I see. If Javon Tank, Tank Davis loses to Ryan Garcia, he's still going to be a top star in boxing. That's what it is. So... We'll see how everything pan out, you know. But that's my reason why I feel like Ryan Garcia wanted this fight for Tank is the respect, and he wants everything Tank got. <laughs> Y'all let me know what y'all think, Buzz Gone.